Hi everyone, this is Vicki, and I have been working on this little project here. Uh, this is one of the envelopes I did from my last um, video, and our, the last two videos, and so I thought I'd make some little things to put inside to give you some ideas, and when actuality, I'm, I may, was making this for a friend of mine. So this is um, one of the envelopes, and... Um, this is the back side. I put a few things in here. And so I'm going to show you this pocket first. And this one, I did make a couple things to put in here. And um, what I made is first a little tiny book marker using some, some inks and um, distress inks and this is a vellum piece that I uh, colored of blue. And this is a little, uh, I think it's a stamp out that I just um, watercolored. And in the back, I just kind of distressed it and stamped it and put some um, stars in it since I have the stars on this envelope. So I thought that was really cute. And then I um, made this little booklet. I thought this was really cute. And uh, this is a frame die from Anna White. Hi, Anna. And I'm still using your products. <laughs> I just love this frame. And then this is just a little booklet I made. And this is the back side. And it matches the uh, little envelope with the same. And I just had that one piece of paper. So I, um, <laughs> so I u utilized it, uh, the other pieces. And in the inside, you open it up, and there's a little tuck spot here with the um, some newsprint. Uh, I think it's um, just book pages that's on here. And then there's gauze and pieces of uh, paper I have in my stash, a little doily and um, die cut doily. And then this is on the back side of this little um, tag. And then on the front side, it says today, tomorrow, forever on the stamp. And these are all vintage stamps that I have in my stash and that I'm using. And then um, this one is also I found at a um, thrift store, I believe. So I have this one I put on here and then stamp some other leaves and things that were in my stash. And then on this side, um, I'm not sure where I got this. I think it's at the vintage, um, at the store, the thrift store. And I can't actually find that. I just found pieces of paper that I stamped on. And then I decided to um, put it on here. So it's, it's like a piece of um, tissue paper that I stamped it on to see what it was, what it looked like. And then I just tore it and put it on this um, little label. I um, sewed this um, piece of the insert zigzag sewing. And then on the inside, you can see the zigzag also. And then this is um, the Tim Holtz, um, uh, I don't know what you call that cutter that makes this kind of raggedy edges. But um, I did that and put this in, have some twine brown, is that brown twine? It's kind of a variegated, so you can see it's kind of blue. And I think I got this at Tuesday morning a long time ago. So I'm just using the stuff that I have in my stash. and. Um, this is part of this little booklet. She can use it for whatever she wants. And then I have this little um, this little cluster of the same uh, hearts that were on that uh, paper. And then another little um, doily. Um, some more book pages. And it says, um, there's a lot more to come. A Time for Heroes. And uh, some more other stamps that I had in my stash. And then this is the back side. I thought that was cute. It says dream on the little flap. I made a little tab, just added on. So I thought that was cute. A little additional piece to put in this little pocket. And put this one in the side. And I think it's really cute to go through 
um, this just snaps and then the other side looks like this and I made um, this little this little booklet as well with a little rusted jingle bells and these little tiny ones don't ring so I added this larger one because it, it does ring and this is a book page I stamped it with um, sunflowers and then this is also a um, embossing folder as uh, Tim Holtz um, uh, Sizzix uh, embossing folder that has some sewing type of things on it and then um, just stamped these this um, is a little card I made that uh, comes apart with this comes off and it is just it doesn't really have anything else to it it's just a, a piece to decoration <laughs> and um, so I have this little Tim Holtz um, clip I just clipped this together here and this is uh, glued on and with the little ribbon twine and then this little piece comes off okay so this opens up like this and so this can come off as well and it's just like a little uh, bookmark type of thing has a little piece of gauze in it and has a little rickrack tiny things on here this is actually an earring that I got at Hobby Lobby and um, a set of them and I I it was very uh, on clearance so it was inexpensive I just cut the ends off and then glued it onto this little um, this is one of those uh, circles that I I've cut out this is the inside I have some um, some lace that I have had and I kind of uh, uh, distressed it with um, vintage photo and then um, I had this already I when I get these things I, I cut them I, you know die cut them out and I distress them and then I use them just to see what it looks like and then I use them when I can uh, anytime it's already ready to use I uh, have some a graph paper I, I pasted underneath and also this is a sunflower I stamped on some um, deli paper and so I put that within the um, inside here this is a tuck here where the heart is this little book page heart with some I think this is tape actually this is a piece of tape um, cloth tape I believe and then I made this little tiny uh, page with um, uh, a brad tiny brad and it just kind of flips around you know the sunflower there and has a heart on here and says love on there so I did put that together and that just slips right here I stamped this out with one of the stamps I got from IO and um, um, just put that here with the it came with um, some sayings I think love and it may have been a, a valentine heart so it looks like a raggedy heart like this and then I stamped the sunflower here and um, so that's what that looks like and this is actually a deli uh, pocket so envelope or pocket I don't know what you call it but on this side I left it open so this is a flap that closes but doesn't close because I have this open this way and so I did a little um, heart with um, this I don't remember frantic stampers I think I got this from and then I put some stars on there in my stash and then I put a little um, a deli paper um, that I cut out a label from put a little old little um, safety pin with some collage pieces leftover papers 
and then I put a piece of tape. This is actually an old piece of tape. Did a little stamp there, and on the back of this little card, I made it into a little coffee card. So it's the Daily Grind Coffee, and um, this is a stamp set I also got from the, um, uh, not the vintage market, it was from the thrift store. And so I just stamped these out, these different pieces I stamped out. So I love using the vintage papers because the vintage stamps because um, you haven't seen them. It's not something that's in in right now, and it's just you know I um, mix, mix and match the stamps and uh, that I got from the um, thrift store and just use them. So I don't really have that many stamps, but um, in actuality, they're all just old. Um, from the um, thrift store stamps. Then I have um, some of these also that I have in my stash, uh, flowers and things. And so th this part, it goes inside here in the back pocket because this two pocket envelope that I did um, in my previous video and that was um, with the, uh, with the some, um, what do you call them? The plastic laminated envelopes. Okay, so, and then I had made this um, a few months ago because I was playing around with the Tim Holtz um, uh, envelopes and the, the whole die set. And I had made this, I, if you've seen that um, video I made, I made this with using um, these are leather closures and with this uh, thick, uh, it's like a embroidery thread, but I think it's um, leather um, thread actually. And then this is done with a, sh a shoe, um, this is a shoe paint, you know, the shoe polish paint and um, an embossing folder. So I have made this and then the insert is a die cut boot that is Anna White's um, die from Impression Obsession. And then I did some stamping on this one. It's filed and on the back it has, it has plain um, plaid paper. And so that's what I made um, in the past. Uh, so I thought I'd stick one of these in there and put this together and then lastly what I made was this little envelope. I've made it in the past because um, this is also a Tim Holtz envelope that was in that set and um, the chapter three one of those sets and then I used uh, this um, stamp that is from the thrift store and I stamped it out and I fussy cut it out and then I used um, another stamp that I had from the vintage store and um, from the uh, thrift store and then I stamped that out and did some gold. It's glossy. You can tell it's a, that um, watercolor paint that I used that has some um, shimmer in it. So I stamped that out with a crown and this is a napkin actually this um, a paper napkin that I made and it's embossed. I don't know if you can see the embossing. Maybe if I turn this light on. But you can go check out my other um, uh, videos I have already done. There's embossed here uh, that I uh, rubbed some uh, distressed ink on. And then it opens up. This has a little tiny glue here, the glue dots. And it just, you just flick it open. And then I did all things grow with love with the same, all these, all these things are things I have in my stash and they're all the vintage um, pieces. And then I have some gauze and I made this little collage of different types of little papers 
and these are little look like little tiny buttons but they are brads tiny brads that i had in my stash this is a little tiny piece of um of lace that i put on the edge and so this is what and i just distressed the edges of this paper also in my stash so that is my that is my share my project for using making things to put place in this little envelope you can put the, anything you want in these little envelopes but i thought it's nice to if you're going to make a gift you can give these as um you know other things that you made projects you've made and then um, also give these to your friends so that's what i have made and then also what I've been doing is doing a little bit of other envelopes and I'm using my tissue paper, Tim Holtz tissue papers. And uh, so I made a few of them and then used the, the washi tapes for the tops. And I plan to put little um, dividers or uh, labels for these on the top so you can pull it open easily. I did use uh, some of my favorite paper from Hobby Lobby. This is, um, you know, world a world um, paper, and and so I made those uh, laminated envelopes. And this is also Tim Holtz um, tissue paper, laminated, and his uh, tape at the top. And then this one is what I'm going to do to the rest of them, and I have sewn these edges and I'm going to sew it just like this with the um, dark quilter's thread throughout the edge zigzag and I thought that was really cute I like that look so that's my share for today and I'm going to put it up on Saturday morning mix tomorrow and then share this with everybody that I had some time here and there to make these little projects and then I enjoy doing that, just a little working with my hands, little tiny things, and um, I'm glad to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys get some inspiration to make some of these envelopes and make some little things to put inside, and I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.